Hey everyone, Brugley here, and in this video, I'm going to be going over a backrooms level 145, aka Perpetual Isolation. This level is a terrifyingly claustrophobic, infinite maze of a bunch of weird corridors and prison areas, with some very strange stuff happening in the shadows. If you get sent here, it's not going to be a good time. So if that sounds fun to you, then you're going to love this video. And speaking of it, let's get into the video now, shall we? So this level actually has an undetermined difficulty, and that's mostly because not much information has been recorded about it. There are random properties that don't make sense, and there are random entities that are deep down, and there's weird stuff outside of the prison windows that are just unknown. So overall, everything is just undetermined. Level 145 is made up of a very repetitive system of small to large jail cells. The cells are old looking, and they're all damp and eroding too. There's leaky pipes in the ceiling, moldy spots in the corners of the rooms, chipping and cracking paint all over every single wall, and just in general, it's a disgusting level. So far, each cell seems to have two doors. One door leads out to the hallway type area, and another door leads directly from cell to cell. And as you can imagine, all these doorways and openings make this level extremely confusing, and it's literally like a big maze. Some of the pathways lead to sudden dead ends, and some of them lead to areas that have never been found before, and some of them you might have to walk miles back to where you started because it just randomly ends, and some of the hallways never seem to stop going. On top of that, some of the cells have actually been measured and there's about three different sizes to the ones that we found so far. Some are about four feet wide, some are about six feet wide, and some are about eight feet wide. And all of them are eight feet tall, even the three foot long ones, which is strange. It's also important to note that this level is thought to not be infinite. That's right, not infinite, just really big. It's actually thought to be around 10,000 different rooms. Of course, that's just an estimate, there could be more. The level isn't lit up with regular old light bulbs or fluorescent lights like most of the other backrooms levels are. Instead, literally all the light here comes from small barred windows in the cells themselves. The light itself is bright white and it seems to just glow from those windows into parts of the rooms. Like. It can't even light up the entire room, it can only light up just a small fraction of the room, leaving a ton of the rooms and all of the hallways pitch black. And the windows themselves seem to either be really strong or unbreakable, and only some of the cells even have them. Lovely. Now you can slightly see out of the windows down below to what looks like a courtyard area with stone sidewalks. You can only see to the edge of those stone sidewalks, and then after that, you can just barely, ever so slightly, see a cityscape off in the distance. And in that city, sometimes you'll be able to see sidewalks and alleyways and skyscrapers, but there's just so much fog and this white mist stuff everywhere that you can't really make anything out. And if you're looking out the window and then you look straight up above, you can see the building that you're in going up for thousands and thousands of stories. Cool. Now, sometimes outside of the windows, near that foggy city, you can see a shadowy figure or a group of shadowy figures walking around. Now, you can just barely see them, but they look to be humanoid in shape, and their actions and intentions are unclear. No one knows what they are, if they're dangerous, or if they're the residents of this city that you can kind of see, or anything. We, we just don't know. But they sure do look terrifying, I mean, look at this. The hallways and cells of this level are extremely echoey, and it can be really annoying sometimes if you make a loud noise or if you drop something, because it'll just echo off the walls for a long period of time. Most of the time, there's actually a slight echo from the noises outside from the shadowy people moving around or the city noises randomly happening, and that noise just penetrates the walls and comes in and echoes everywhere. These echoes aren't just annoying, though. They can actually be terrifying, especially since people have heard gut-wrenching screams and cries for help echoing out of the walls and the cells deeper into the level. Nice. 
Now, I thought that there could be an entity or two that lurks deep down in the cells. No one's for sure seen it, but some people swear that they can look over and see something peering out of a doorway. If you do hear a scream from in the level, never chase after it. Even if it sounds like a person is close, because they're not gonna be close, and people have ran after those screams and never been seen from or heard from again. Nice. This level is actually widely known to be hard to get to, like you can barely get here, which might be a good thing. And there's only a couple of entrances that have ever been found. One of them was found in a prison cell on level 448, so that's the first one. And then the other only documented one was on level 95, deep inside of an underground claustrophobic room, which kind of looks like a prison cell, and that's all we have. Those single two entrances are all we know of how to get here, which like I said, might be a good thing since this level sounds terrifying and there might be a huge entity trying to lure you deep into it. This level is also famously hard to exit, mainly due to how big and maze-like the whole thing is, but the only exit that's ever been found is stumbling across an out-of-place wooden door in a prison cell. Then you gotta open that door and walk through it, and you'll be sent out. So to make it easier on yourself, just don't come here. But yeah, this level was genuinely terrifying. I couldn't imagine being stuck in this small jail cell with an entity screaming from the depths of it trying to lure me to it. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you are still watching, comment Prison Brugly. That way I can heart all the ones I see with that keyword. Because if you're watching still and you comment that, you're a real one. And I appreciate you. Make sure to stay tuned for the merch drop. It's going to be happening very, very soon. Hey, Editor Brugly popping in here. I actually have an official merch release date now. The merch will be releasing on the first day of Brugmas, which is December the 18th. So next Sunday, merch is coming out. I'll make a video about it, just dedicated to it, a couple seconds long, just to advertise it. And then I'll be showing it in the future videos, to see a photo shoot, all that kind of stuff. I hope you all enjoy it. Check it out. It's awesome. If you want to support the channel and me, and you want to have a dope piece of clothing, I definitely recommend checking it out. Seriously, the, the quality is so good. I'm literally astonished how good this turned out. I hope you all like it. Thank you so much. I love and appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you all so much for supporting me and all my channels. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. I am trying to get my second channel to lead to 50K by the end of the year. So if you want to be a part of that journey, drop a sub. It would mean a lot. I do hate asking for subscribers because I feel like that's what every cringe YouTuber does. But 50K is a cool milestone. And I would really just love to hit that on that channel. I upload like every day on there. So if you want more of me, then you're going to find more of me over there. Thank you so much for the support. I literally cannot show or tell how much I appreciate all of you. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all later. Peace.